Okay guys, so today we're gonna to cover how to remove a toilet. So many people get worried about this. It's really not that hard. There's no point in paying expensive plumbers to do it when you can do it yourself in a few easy steps. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it in this very short video so you don't have to worry about paying for expensive plumbers like me. So what you wanna do first is make sure the inlet to the toilet is isolated. See, there should normally be one of these and you want to turn that horizontally with a flathead screwdriver. If it hasn't got one of these, just turn it off at the mains. Quite easy, but always check that it's turned off. Once that's done, just take the lid off the toilet and give it a flush. Like that. Be careful though, because sometimes the flush button is attached by the cord like so. So once you've done that, give the toilet a flush and make sure that it doesn't start to refill. No, we're good to go. So on systems like this, it's quite simple. You just want to pull this pin out here, like so, and then that pops off. Don't lose a spring like I did. But it's okay, it's down there, we're fine. Then what we need to do is get the water out of there. Now, if you've got a wet vac, that's fine. Use the wet vac. If not, use a sponge in a bucket. Quite simple. Don't use a towel, because they're a nightmare. What you want to do is obviously fill the sponge up with water as much as you can and rinse it out in there. Make sure you get every little bit out, okay? Every little bit because you don't want to leave any drips on the floor. So don't worry too much guys, this is clean water. Okay, it's straight from the coal mains. So once it's all drained guys, what you want to do is unscrew the skewing nuts at the back. Uh, that one has just pulled out. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> God, look, they're just pulling out. That's, yeah, that was really, really secure. You want to get a pair of grips on the inlet valve there and a spanner on the nut and undo it gently making sure you don't pull it off the cold mains and it goes everywhere. Once you've done it you may get one or two drips but don't worry that's normal just make sure you've got your dust sheet down or a sponge. Then you want to get a flat headed screwdriver on here and undo the wing nuts at the bottom. Flitch it there. Always take care not to lose all the screws though. Once you remove the system, you want to make sure you, that you cap the coal mains outlet so no accidents can happen. And then you want to go ahead and remove the toilet. So if you've got any caps on, you just want to pop them off with a flathead screwdriver. Like that. They're normally a crosshead. Some are a bolt, so just be careful and do the other side and remove. Before you remove guys, in some cases there is a bead of silicon going around the base of the toilet. You may need to run a Stanley around it. In this case there isn't. So we're going to go ahead and remove it, taking care around the 4 inch waste pipe. Um, it has got a pan connector on it so the chances are that's going to come with it. Quick tip, what you can do if it's your own toilet, is do the same what you did in the system. Get your sponge down there and get out all the water. But if it's not, I wouldn't recommend it. The only thing is when you remove it, you've got to be careful and tilt it slightly forward so it doesn't come out the back. And then once you've removed it, and empty it into the bucket. Right guys, once removed, either get a bag and some tape or some paper and put it in the hole because it stinks of poo. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.